Hey guys, I'm back. And if you just so happen to be new, what I mean is I am back from my two week long trip to England. Now this wasn't my first time visiting England. I've been there several times and we were just staying with family and you know, checking out the sights in London. It's been several days now since I got back. So, you know, the jet lag is still fresh and I'm feeling like absolute garbage, but you know, what can you do, right? But anyways, I did say that I was going to do my best to check out some of the stores for puzzles while I was out there. And thankfully, we did get time to, you know, browse through the stores and I was able to get some footage. So as of this very moment, I haven't actually reviewed any of the clips. So I'm going to do my absolute best you know, piecing all these clips together, you know, as cohesively as possible. But I mean, if not, that's okay. Either way, you're going to see what I saw at these stores. So you know what, guys, I'm going to stop rambling now. Let's move on with the shopping video. All right, enjoy. And I'll see you towards the end for the final haul. All right, so today is kind of a hangout day. We, we are staying in Boston, Lincolnshire. Did I say that right? Lincolnshire, yes, Boston, Boston, Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire England. So basically my, my husband's hometown. So we're just hanging around, checking out shops right now whilst it's just the two of us. And we have a number of places that we're gonna stop at. So we're gonna do that now and see what we find. So let's move on with the day. here so far it looks good i see a lot of clementoni here which is a good sign i'm not sure if you're gonna actually hear me because it's kind of loud in here but i'm gonna do my best we have this disney clementoni that's so cool look at that 1000 pieces and this is a panorama as well how much is this this is 10 pounds so i don't know what is that 15 16 us dollars which I don't think is too bad. So, oh, look at this one. This is nice. This is called Villains. All right, we have a Harry Potter set here. This is Aquarius. This is, I, I know this stuff. I have this at home. Actually, wait a minute. Is this Aquarius? No, I just made that up. Because it looks like an Aquarius box. Happy School Row. This says Romania. This is not, why did I think this was Aquarius? I don't know. That's 300 pieces. We have truffle here at eight pounds. This is a Spider-Man set, 500 pieces. That is nice. I do, we do have truffle at home. I do see a lot of them, but I'm seeing a lot of cool designs here. We have a Mandalorian here, 1,000 pieces. Pokemon Ravensburger set. This is a challenge puzzle. We have a Clementoni Marvel set, 1,000 pieces. Oh, check out these truffle sets. That is a nice panorama picture. 1,000 pieces. Couldn't find the name of that one. I'm, I'm a little overstimulated, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where to start or where to continue. This, there's a lot going on here. Around the world in 80 drinks. I prefer 80 foods, but this is pretty cool. I like the artwork on this one. This is 12 pounds, 1,000 pieces. Oh, this is Professor Puzzle. I think I've seen these back home, but this is 12 pounds. We got some Robinsburger here, 12 pounds, which is 1,000 pieces. My Haven collection. Oh, look at this one, books, bits, and bobs. Oh my goodness, look at these cats. That's hilarious. This is called Crazy Cats Afternoon Tea and Tittles. 1,000 pieces, Robinsburger, 12 pounds. What else we got? Oh my God, there's so many puzzles. I don't know what to do. All right, so all of these look like they're from the brand Corner Piece. And these are only six pounds from what I'm seeing so far for the 500 piece. 1,000 pieces even is eight pounds. I'm trying to get my words right. This is Venice. That's really nice. I could see myself sitting there enjoying the beautiful gondola ride. We have another one here, Portofino. We have Snowball Fight. We have Steam Train. 
500 pieces. Let's repeat. Let's repeat. Oh, wow, look at this one. This is the bookshop. It's another 500 piece puzzle. That looks really cozy. And oh, that's nice. London Bridge at Night, another 500 piece from Corner Piece Puzzles. I love that. Oh, that night effect looks really cool with Big Ben on the back. That's Tower Bridge. That's, oh, sorry. Is it, no, look, Big Ben is in the back. No, that's Tower Bridge. No, the back, look. Is that know. not? Yeah, it is, but that's Tower Bridge. No, I know it's Tower Bridge, but it says London Bridge. Yeah. Isn't that the same thing? No. No? Okay, I don't know. You know better than me. What is this? I can't really see these down here. Let's see if I can put these on the side. I'm trying not to make a mess. They don't kick me out. What do we have? The water lily pot. Trying not to get the glare here. Look at that. That looks super hard. This is 500 pieces, so who knows? It's a pretty good piece size, but that is beautiful artwork. Oh, look at this. This is summer dreaming in the Côte d'Azur. Côte d'Azur. Côte d'Azur. Côte d'Azur. Côte d'Azur. Like coat? Yes, Dazur. Dazur. You knew I was going to butcher that one. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay, I have to explain this next one as well. You're going to have to explain this for me? Yeah. What? Penny for the Penny guy? Penny for the guy. Why do you? I could, I could pronounce that. Yeah, but do you know what it means? No, what does it mean? That's Guy Forks Night. Guy Forks Night? Yeah. What does that Fireworks mean? Fireworks Night, where they celebrate the uh, quash yeah. of the attempt to blow up the houses of the Parliament. Oh, okay. Look at that. I'm getting a history lesson as well. Yep. This is great. Penny for the guy. That's why I'm here. That's what you hear, because I don't know anything. I'm too dumb. Winter Sledge. See, I know what this is. This is winter time, isn't it? Well, yeah. Yeah, you see? I See, I knew that one. You got that one. I got that one right. Six pounds, 500 pieces. Oh, this is gorgeous. Winter Cathedral. The next one? Well, give me a second. Let me do this one first. Winter Cathedral, 500 pieces. This is gorgeous. I love the painting. Oh, jeez. Why do you have to ruin it? I'm on vacation. I don't want to think about Central Park. Why are you messing this up for me? This is Central Park. Ooh. New York City. 500 pieces. It, it is pretty, though. I do know this view from the park. Yeah. This is very familiar. I always remember seeing these buildings. But, yeah. You got me all excited for that. I was like, oh my god, he's serious. No, we saw this already. All right, that's one of these here. Let me move this just so you can get back in the area. Oh, you're so helpful. In the suitcase. So it's possible for me to get quite a number of these. No. Is that what you're saying? No. Are I'm you saying you can, we can offload some of the clothes to the third bag? But that bag is pretty big. We could fit. I could fit all my clothes in there, and then use my side of the, the big suitcase for the boxes. No. There we go. I think we could we could figure this out. Let, let's see what else we got here. So we saw these already. All right, Cottages of the Hill. I think we saw this already, but this is beautiful. Maybe I actually saw this on the drive somewhere and it looks familiar. But that's six pounds. I feel like I have to get one of these 500 piece like puzzles. Whitby. Whitby? Harbor Edge. Like that's Whitby Abbey. Whitby back, is like the Dracula, sure. the Dracula yeah. castle. I'm not sure if that is Whitby or not. But well, whatever, whatever it is, it's beautiful. This is Harbor Edge, 500 pieces. Oh. Oran orangery. Orangery? Orangery. I can, why can't I say that? Orangery. Doesn't work on those American lips. You know what? You need to watch what you say in public. <laughs> 500 pieces. This is beautiful. And of course, you got your random dog there and a cat. Look. I could be sat there reading. This is great. I love this. Table. With the cat under the. Another cat? Why were I so many cats? Okay, we saw the bookshop already. I think we saw, Italian no, we didn't see this one. This is Italian Riviera. This is beautiful, but I feel like I've seen this scene before in another puzzle. This must be a very popular scene somewhere in Italy, but this is gorgeous. Look at the colors in the back. That's really nice. Wow. What else we got? We have garage treasures. Look at that. That's a lot of... I don't know what to say in a nice way. This or garage so, treasures, as we say in England. I can't say garage. Garage treasures. That's too much effort. Garage treasures. There we go. Look at that. All right, let's see. Oh, my goodness. There's more here. Um, I'm going to try to skim through these real quick, though, because I don't have much time in here. But we have Wonders of the World. 
This is a 500 piece. Look at this one, village cattle. Look at that roof. That looks like high maintenance. This is beautiful. I love that. But my husband pointed one out to me that looks very interesting. Check this out, London Street. That is really nice. I like the artwork in this one. This is cool. That's 500 pieces. That is nice. Look, we have my vacation house here, the lake house. Look at that. I got a nice house. But what happened to the walls? There's no, there's no walls here. It's all exposed. That's a bit strange. I mean, I like that I could see inside, but I mean, I don't know. Who built this house? I don't know. We have 1950s retro. That's cool, but not quite my style. And the rest here are ones that we've seen already. We have red tractor. That's nice. The rest of these, I think we... Oh, day out in London. We'll be doing that next week. Look at that. Oh, look, Stewie, it's me and you. I don't know whose dog that is. We don't have dogs. Anyways, look at that. This one. Oh, oh, people tell me about this all the time. You don't, that's not the picture. You have to reverse no, I know. the picture to reverse. But I don't think that's all of the was jig. Waskage? What? Wasage? Well, there's different ones. Wattage? I don't know. That's another one. No, this is so, before and after, I think. Oh, that's before and I after. I think that's okay, what so, that is. Well, this is telling you, don't puzzle what you see. Use your imagination and puzzle what oh, will happen snap. next. Oh, snap. So this is what happens next. This one is you have to puzzle what she sees. And this is very, very, very British artwork, by the way. This is like old 1980s, like Viz and Pulp magazine and things like that. Do you want to artwork. continue on with the video? You're doing better than I am at oh, this. I'm explaining because you won't understand No, I, the I'm artwork. just saying you're doing it much better than me. I think you yeah. should take over the channel. Yeah, this is like Viz. Your accent is very attractive too, so mm, you know. Okay. All right, let's not, let's not get carried away here. How much is 13 pounds in American? Like 13, what, 16 dollars? Um, about 16, 17 bucks. 16, 17 dollars. I think one of these are gonna have to come home with me because I can't really find these in person anywhere. <gasps> Stop. The puzzle shop, look at that. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I wanna go there. Look at this. This is 1,000 pieces. This is from the brand Corner Piece again. So it seems like this, this store is called The Works, right? This is yeah, called The Works? Yeah. Okay. So they seem to carry a huge number of these Corner Piece puzzles. It's their own brand. Oh, okay. So Corner Piece Puzzles is from The, the Works, the works which is the store itself. So the, basically it's the store brand of puzzles. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. I haven't really had enough coffee today. I can tell. So I'm struggling. Yeah. So I appreciate I appreciate all your help because um yeah. I think I think one of these are going to have to come with me because I cannot find these in a store at yeah. home. These are made in the Netherlands. So, we have this one here which is called car boot caper capers car boot sale yeah oh that's what that is okay no, car boots. It's like a car um, boot like a yard sale it's a, it's a yard sale hold that car a second boot. please and then we have this one here which is called pooch parlor Ooh. which is basically a a groomers big ben westminster oh, I'm, look at these guys how am i gonna get through all this there's no way i'm gonna do my best and then we have this one here a piece of pride and this, these are the ones where you have to guess what the person is looking at. This particular collection. Same with this one. This one is as well. And that's what happens next. And this one, the pooch parlor, is from the collection where they, you have to guess what's happening next in the image. So these are fun. I have to, I have to figure out which one of these I'm getting. I, I apologize if this video is a bit all over the place. I'm very overstimulated with not enough coffee in me, so I don't know what's happening. So I'm doing my best here whilst trying not to look strange filming. So I do, that's okay. I am strange anyways, but that's okay. We have Attic Treasures. This is a 1000 piece puzzle, which we may have already seen. No, it was the garage one we saw. That's that one. Okay, this is Scenic Venice. We have the potting shed here, which is very similar to some we've seen in other videos in the past. We have Day Dayton's Garage 
he has a lot of chickens randomly around his garage which is probably not safe for them we have the record shop here very retro looking which is cool we saw this already we have this westminster bridge which is very english this is very nice. I like that artwork. That is a very English one down there. 1960s news agent. There you go. That's 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 like the old uh, corner shops. I, I knew those when I was growing up in Curtin. We've got a Paris one here as well, right there. Parisian evening. You're so helpful. You're kind of handsome. Can I have your phone number? Yes. Mm. All right, let's get serious here. We have the Cricut Green. I'm not going to be able to pull these out because these are all stacked here, but I'm going to do my best. This is beautiful. Look at that. And these are all 1,000 piece puzzles that I'm showing you right now. We have the Cricut Green Vintage Monaco. Is that right? Monaco? Yeah, Monaco the Grand Prix. I wanted, to say, I wanted to say Monaco, and I don't know why. We saw this already, Amalfi Coast. I hope you guys can see this all right. We got Steam Fair here, that's pretty and artwork. Steam that's plows. nice, and we have Steam Plowing. That's another very Lincolnshire um, picture. Um, we have Harbor Boats here. We have, oh, these are 500 pieces. We have District Nurses. Uh, look at that we didn't see this one grand canal bistro look at that i, I want to be walking down this street here this is so beautiful we have a uh, van gogh here this is a 500 this is quilts for sale you know if you want a quilt you just come here and i think that's it um i don't know this video kind of felt a little rushed but that's because there's a lot going on in here um, I showed you everything I could and you know because also there's other stores that I want to check out guys So you know what I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try to make a quick decision here If and what I'm buying and then we're gonna head to the next one All right, I just walked into Waterstones and literally the first thing we see are these world of puzzles Which we are very familiar with um, I don't know if I've actually seen the Miss Marple ones in person, but let's see where are these made? This is from the Netherlands, which is interesting and i don't know if the other ones here i know the Ag 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 agatha christie at home of oh, china okay so i don't know if we saw the brontes one last time but this is really pretty 1000 pieces oh gibson's one of you guys mentioned to me about gibson's which is a uk company look at this waterloo station 1848 southern railway this is actually really cool. Oh, it's two scenes, 1848 and we have 1948. That's the one up top and this is the 1848 scene. Again, this is Gibson's and this is 15 pounds, 99 pence. This is cool. And so far it looks like it's the only Gibson that I see here so far. We also, of course, have Robin's Burgers. A lot of you have seen this one. This is Fantasy Bookstore. And oh, look at this. It's upstairs, downstairs. This is cool. A 1,000 piece, if you can actually see that. And then, oh, look, we have another Gibson's here. This one is called Beautiful Britain, 1,000 pieces. I love this. Look at this. We have Edinburgh, Newcastle, Sheffield, Manchester. I like this. This is also £15.99. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is great. And we have another one here. This one is Author for Puns. 1,000 pieces. And this is just a bunch of books. This is cool. All right, let's see what else we got. I got to get a move on because I have a time limit today. So, let's see what else we have here. We have... This is called Moomin. 1,000 pieces. This is very interesting artwork. In terms of the brand, what is the brand? Okay, the brand looks the brand looks to be Flame Tree Publishing. That's a fun image though. It's very like children's illustration like. I like that. What is this one? We have oh, another one of these world puzzles. The world of Virginia Woolf. Don't think I've seen this one before, but this is like London in the background. This is pretty. 1,000 pieces. And this is a Netherlands puzzle. So you know this is going to be good. But look at that image. 
That's so cool. And then we have a couple Gallisons here, which I'm going to do my best to not show brands that we do have back at home because you guys see them all the time. I'm really trying to pinpoint ones that we, well, I am not familiar with. You might be, but this is another UK puzzle. Um, let's see here. This is just a periodic table. 300 pieces. This is a London company. I cannot see the brand back there, but that's that one. Right, we're at a charity shop right now, so let's see what we got. This is Hey 750 piece puzzle, the beaches. That's cute. Look at that. We have this one here. This is Royal Botanical Gardens. 1,000 piece puzzle. This is three pound 50. I think that's what that says there. That's nice. Look guys, we got one of these cottages on the hill puzzles for three pounds. Now, makes me wonder, obviously we have to consider if the pieces are all here or not, which we won't know obviously until we open it. But you know, it's gotta risk see. Think about that. We got a Kisty from Casterland puzzles here. 500 pieces. This is an old one. Look at this. This is 750 pieces. Commodore from Tofana puzzle. I don't know what the brand is here, but this is an old puzzle. This is two pound 50, I think. This is a Schmidt puzzle. Oh, what year is this? Probably on the back. No, there's nothing on the back. Oh, yeah. Here, take a peek. I'll for you. We have some of the Wasage puzzles here. This is great, three pound 50 for these. My concern is though, will they have all the pieces? This might. I hate missing pieces, especially for something like this. But we have this one here as well. Again, by the brand Jumbo. It has a coloring book inside, possibly. Probably at one point, yeah. <laughs> and then this is a retro. We have another very old puzzle here. From Galt Toys, Shapes and Games. Oh my goodness, why do I keep being reminded of of New York. This is craziness. 2,000 pieces for five bucks, Gallison. Yeah, that, I know, five that's not bad. Five pounds. Five pounds. I'm as bad as you. Ah, watch yourself, boy. I still need that second coffee. Two 1,000 piece puzzles here of beautiful landscapes. Look at this, this is only five pounds. That's not bad. Oh, look, we got a brand new puzzle here, guys. This is a Monet image, 1,000 pieces. This is the Water Lily Pond. What brand is this though? I'm trying to find the brand for this app. Top Corner. Masters Series. Oh, that sounds like the, hello. Yeah, it's right there, huh? Mm. I, I think I need that coffee real soon. Anyways, so, so this is brand new. I don't, this doesn't have a price. This says complete. That says complete. This is a Waddington's puzzle. So this is 1990s English puzzles. Oh snap, how much is this? Three, Three pounds? Pound. You gotta hold on to this one. Okay. Yeah, this is not, that's probably around if the same says, era as well. If that's it's complete, I mean, you would hope that's the well, I mean, last that's person. From, that's 05 or 08, so oh. that's at least, uh, what, 16 years ago? Yeah, we're taking chances with that, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. Look at this one, this is a nice box. Yeah. This is in really good condition. Three pounds, it's not bad. No, I know, but. I would like to try to have complete puzzles. Magic Garden Shelf. This is from the brand. For some reason, I can't find the brand on this one, but it's very pretty. Yeah. Look at this. We got all these British. A oh, Gibson. I'm shouting and I'm, I need to calm down. I'm, I'm being, you need to watch yourself. I have a lot of American viewers here, okay? <laughs> this is four pounds, which is not bad for two puzzles at 1,000 pieces and look at the scenery. This is gorgeous. Oh my god, what am I going to do about my suitcase? We have this Art Deco one. That's pretty darn cool. I feel like we hit jackpot here. This is great. Three pounds for this puzzle. This is really nice. 1,000 pieces. I guess the brand is Keen. Very nice. We have this Robinsberger puzzle here. I guess from the Coronation Capers collection. We have this another artsy puzzle here, 1000 piece Art Deco puzzle. 
We have a world map puzzle bit that, that looks hard. I don't think I can I don't think I could do world puzzle. World map puzzles even. What's this? Oh look at this. The story of impressions. Three pound fifty. This almost looks like a Gibson. Actually. This looks like a Lawrence King puzzle. It is a Lawrence King. Look, we got ourselves a Lawrence King. What is this piece together? The Paris of the Impressionist. This is interesting. I like this. I don't know. What's the price on this though? Oh, three pound fifty. I think I even said that already. Jesus, I need a coffee. This charity shop has a lot of gold puzzles, but what I like is that it's a lot of um, UK brands, I'm, I'm guessing, or UK images, which is nice. This is a 1,000 piece puzzle. That looks like it'd be super hard, and I don't think I would actually want to be here. There's way too many people in that. Way too many people. It'd be craziness. We got trains from Falcon. Travel by price tag. Um, 1,000 piece. Oh, there we go. That's the title. Travel by rail. 1,000 pieces. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm dropping them. We have a Gibson here. Look at this. This is a nice little image. A ride with mum. 500 pieces. This is only three pounds. This is a, there is no planet B. 500 piece puzzle by Gibson. Three pounds. We have another Gibson here. This is 1,000 pieces called Nearly New, which I think is actually a charity shop or a vintage shop. Yeah, look at that. That's a very nice image. We got another one of these corner piece puzzles. It says complete, 500 pieces, Cobblestone Alley. Um, we have history of Ring Rington's, um, a Rington puzzle. I'm guessing that's the brand. Look at this. This is cool, three pound 50. Look at that. That's a nice image. These are games. This is a Robin's Burger, Happy Days. This. Happy Days Lin Linmouth? Linmouth, yeah. Yeah, this is 1,000 pieces. This looks like an older Robinsburger, though. What year is this? We got some really old ones here. This is £2.50 world map foil jigsaw. Printed in brilliant colors and metal foil. 2007. 2007, that Robinsburger? Yeah. So, this one. This one is 2007, which... It's, I mean, now that you think about it, 2007 was a long time ago. That's that, that... It's, I can't do it's, No, that's okay. 15, it's early. 17. We have a Falcon puzzle. <laughs> Time's past here. 1,000 piece for £3.50. Look at that's an old timey image there. That's nice. Oh, look at this. Still life. 1,000 piece still life here. Arrow Games. This looks pretty old. This is £3.50 as well. Look, we have another one of these jumbo puzzles. 1,000 piece. Cricket on the green. Look at that. Cricket is an English sweat. Yes. Yeah. That's £3.50. Very nice image. I like the artwork on that. This is a Falcon puzzle, 1,000 piece. This is £3. And what's the name of this? Vista? No, maybe that's the collection. I don't know, but that's a nice image. This is an old puzzle, too. It's a what, sorry? Hatfield House. Hatfield House? Oh, okay. Hatfield, I can't read upside down. Hatfield House. Look at that. That could be Mandy's house, actually. That's a nice house. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think we, you could see us living in there? I think so. And that's just games. That's it for the uh, for the puzzles. It's mixed in with like a bunch of board games as well. So you know what? I'm I'm gonna take a closer look at these and and we'll see what we're gonna do here. All right. Let's let's move on. I seriously don't know what I'm going to do with my luggage, but we've got more puzzles at another store down the road. Um, okay, we're at WH Smith. Thank you, because I would have said Waterstones or something. Look at this. What brand is this? This is a budding gardener. This is a nice image, 1,000 piece puzzle with the poster. And what is this brand? Ah, this is the WH Smith brand. What the heck, man? This is great. Uh, ten quid. Uh, really? No, they're ten Save? quid. Oh, they are ten. Yeah. Ten squids. We have from the same store brand here. We have this image, which is balloons at sunset. Cause you know you can't have a puzzle without hot, hot air balloons, right? This is a very fun image, and look, this is so cool. We also have 
Duck Pond on the Green. This is another 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Beautiful. And then we have, this is Wildflower Farm. That is beautiful. Look at this. I love the artwork. That could definitely be my house back there. But it looks like I haven't been home in a while because there's no lights on. So that's that's a good thing. What else we have? Yeah, we've seen these before. What is this one here? We have the... I'm reading this upside down and I don't need to. The harbor side. That is beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, we have a wasage here called Game Nights. This is $17.99. I think these are more expensive here than they were in the other yes, place. Yeah, so we'll pick up one of these in the other place actually. But this is a fun image. I like this one though. Games Night. We have another one of these W.H. Smith puzzles. This one is called Coastal Crowds. I like this one a lot. Look at that. I would definitely have some gorgeous fish. Some gorgeous fish. This fish. Oh my goodness. Get me that coffee, please. Yeah. We have another one of these wasage, waskage puzzles, trouble brewing. Uh, the only thing is I like the images here more than the other place. This is fun. Yeah. This is cool. This is 1,000 pieces. They're all still that same kind of fizz style yeah. British image. Like. Oh, theme park thrills. Look at this one. This is craziness. This is what happens next one. These look hard though. Especially if like you don't know what the next image is going to be. We have another W.H. Smith puzzle here. Postcard from London. 1,000 pieces. That's nice. Oh, look at this one. The Cotswold. Cotswold. Cot Cotswold Countryside. Look at that. That's very relaxing. This is 1,000 pieces. Oh, we have another one of these. Life in the Country Family Day on the Village Green. That is nice. They have little bunnies there. That's the only selection here at WH Smith's. Well, at this location at least. But um, yeah, let's move on. This is like a kind of like a Dollar Tree Dollar Tree pound stretcher. Pound stretcher, but I'm yeah. doing a comparison. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you the name. So it's like a Dollar Tree or a Dollar General. So it doesn't look like they have much, but what we do have is a truffle. Truffle, truffle. Oh my goodness, get me that coffee. This is a kid's one though. This is 160 pieces. But as you look lower, we do have some of the bigger ones here. So we have a four in one box set again for kids this is small piece counts um same here this is a 1000 piece though this this thing for little babies this is doggies this is uh, called dogs in the garden and this handsome man next to me just pulled this one out of the shelf and yes look at that this is 500 pieces Sweets, candies, and lollipops. These 500 count puzzles are eight pounds. eight pounds each. Look at that. And then we have another one of these 1,000 pieces here with the lion on it. This is called Sleeping Lion. And then we just have a Marvel one here, which is also nine pounds. Again, not a lot. And then we have this 500 count here with kitties on it. This one's called called kittens in the garden seven. that's seven pounds not too bad but yeah i thought we'd take a quick peek in here and see again not a huge selection that's the one i showed you before but it's mostly kits puzzles but you know what it's nice to see what the price differences are and you know what brands are out there so all right let's move on again Three puzzle sets in one box here. This is British Beauty Spots. They're each 1,000 pieces. That's pretty good for 12 pounds. Wow. We got Whitby Harbor, North Yorkshire, Great Star River, Canterbury, and Godshill Isle of Wight. Right? Did I say that right? Probably not. But I mean, that's not a bad deal. But there's no way I could bring this big box home. Absolutely not. Even though I'd love to, but not a good idea. 
We have sunflowers with, by Vincent Van Gogh. This is 1,000 pieces. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Look at this harbor at sunset. That is beautiful. Look at that water, that scenery. How serene. Try not to get the glare again. We have fishing tackle. That's a nice one for those who like to go fishing. We have this painting here of Sicily. Look at this. Parisian evening. That's gorgeous. But this is like a lot of images that I've already worked on before. But still very beautiful. Look here, we got a Clementoni set of Stranger Things. This is a 300 super piece. I'm guessing big pieces. This is a very nice. Let me see, are there any other Clementoni here? No, I'm only seeing Stranger Things. Yeah, we saw that in the other one. The other truffles. We got more of the same truffle. The only other Clementoni I see here is this marble puzzle. And then we have some of the smaller Robins Burger set. These are 349 piece puzzles. And we have some other multi sets here. Look at this one. This one's called The Races. That looks fun and very busy. We have this Buckingham Palace 500 piece set. Look at that. It's a lot going on in that one. Like a parade. And we have the queen there. And all these puzzles are behind the wall, but there's no way I can show them to you guys. So I'm gonna do my absolute best here. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick and choose and then I'll let you know what I get in the end. But this is a huge selection. I see Gibson's, I see Robin's Burger, tons of Robin's Burger. They even have the Disney collection over there. There's tons up top. Oh my goodness, I wish I can get up close to these, but there's no way. They're all behind the counter and I'm sad. Anyways, um, we also have what looks to be hop puzzles. These look like a, a lot of nice images. There's all the Disney puzzles up here. I really want, I really want this collection one day. They look absolutely beautiful. We have some of these that we've seen back home. Some more of those. And here are all the Gibson puzzles. This is too exciting. Oh my God. This place was truly such a lucky find. And my goodness, the selection of images. Like if I was able to make a video on just this store alone, and you know, be able to pull each of those puzzles down and immerse myself in them, uh, it'd probably be like a five day long video. I would just hate to leave anything out. But when you come across a store like this, it really does tell you a lot about the people who run it. You can clearly see the amount of care and thought put into every shelf, every corner. I was mesmerized. This place is a puzzler's dream. And if you're ever in England, you need to head to Skegness and check this place out. So I'm going to make sure I leave the store's info down in the description box so that you can pay a visit to this puzzle wonderland. I know the next time I head to England, this will be one of my first stops. And I'll make sure to spend more time savoring their amazing stock. I've seen the Charles Dickens ones. The Bronte ones, I don't remember if I saw that in the other Barnes and Nobles. We got the, is it Bridgerton or Bridgerton? Bridgerton. Bridgerton. The world of Bridgerton. Well, don't make fun of me. You know I can't even speak American English properly. Can't expect me to, you know, pronounce this properly. But anyways, this is Bridgerton. 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 <laughs> I still said it wrong. Bridgerton. Bridgerton. There we go. That's Ooh. a fun image as well. I like that. I haven't seen the show, but I heard I heard it's really good. Manufactured in the Netherlands as well, so this is going to be another good one. 
We've seen Jane Austen. We've seen that Ooh. one. That one I have at home. May have seen that before. I don't know. I don't think so. What do we got here? That's a fun image though. I do like that. That's another lens as well. Upstairs, downstairs. Hold on a second. I'm not there yet, ma'am. I'm looking this up. And then, of course, this beauty, which I did not too long ago. That one again. And then I noticed here as well, we have some other Lawrence King puzzles here. This is not, I mean, yeah, they're the world of. But this is Around the World in 50 Plants. This is a very beautiful. And it looks quite challenging as well. But this is made in China. So, hmm, that'd be interesting. Here are the other ones in the series here. And we have... World of birds, world of trees, 80 trees, 80 plants. I think I read all that wrong, but here's the world of world in 50 birds. If you're into birds, that's fun. These are 18 pounds 99. And then down here we have some Robin's Burger sets. We've seen, we've seen these before. Those are nothing new, but I see these here as well. These are more like the artsy puzzles here these we have Van Gogh. so this whole section here is all flame tree we have these moomins on the That's riviera a kids, ta kids cartoon show from the 1980s oh they're they're cute looking though yeah we have That's this Moomins one here again. another moomins yeah. we have puss in books this is a gibson's puzzle we have all the kitties around the books making a mess of things and I like this image a lot. This is one of the flame tree puzzles. This one is called <coughs> Cafe Terrace at Night. It's a Vincent Van Gogh image, 500 pieces. This one, this is a, this looks like a Japanese artist. Great I, way kind of gower. I feel like I, I saw this before. Though the image it is not as a puzzle. Image. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. I love this one though. Look at this one. This is called Almond Blos Blossom. This is a Vincent Van Gogh. That is beautiful. This is flame tree as well. And what are the prices on these? These are £14.99. So we have this one, Marsh Owl, 1,000 pieces. We have an Angela Harding puzzle, Rathlin Hairs. This is 500 pieces. How much are the 500 piece? They are £11.99. So that's, that's fun. And then we have this one down here. This is a 1,000 piece. I feel like we saw this in the other, what store is this? Waterstones? this is Waterstones? So we're at Waterstones. This is basically the UK's Barnes and Nobles. So I'm pretty sure we saw this in the other location. No, Barnes and Noble. You're making fun of me again. I say it wrong. I say everything wrong, guys. Please don't mind me. That's just how I talk. I can't help it. We have this Ravensburger 1,500 piece here. This looks like a nightmare. That's $18.99. And yeah, that looks that looks insane. I don't know if you could see. I have a lot of glare behind me, but that's that's a scary one. Lego minifigures. These are from what brand are the Lego puzzles? I've never actually like looked to see what brand they are. Chronicle Books, I'm seeing here. I'm not sure if that's what it actually is, but there's that one. Check this one out. This is a 1000 piece puzzle. It says Brambley hedge and i love this image this is too cute look at them cooking a meal there that looks so cute i love this what is this museum galleries i guess that's the brand this is 15 pound 99 this is called kitchen at crab apple cottage i love this that looks like a cozy little kitchen this is a gallison puzzle we got some gallisons here this is called house of astrology and Quite fun looking though. I love the colors on this one. And this is £14.99. And then there's some more Gallison puzzles, which we are all very familiar with. This is Venice. This is 1500 pieces. That's gorgeous. These are obvious, these have to be Michael Storings. Yeah, that's his artwork. Springtime in Paris, which I think we've seen before. And I absolutely love this Gibson. This is 1,000 pieces, but this is a very big box. And I don't know how I'm gonna get this home, but look at that. And I think now that I'm looking at this, we saw this in the other Waterstones. This is gorgeous. How much is this? That's 16 pound 99. I see, I saw King's Lane, but I didn't see uh, anywhere else. This I didn't is see beautiful. Peterborough. I love this. 
And then we have this puzzle here, wheelbarrows and wellies, which wellies are rain boots, right? Wellington boots, yeah. Yeah. This is a Gibson as well, £15.99. This is a nice image though. That's fun for, for all you gardeners out there. And then we have this massive Robins, Robinsberger box here. This is a 2000 piece vertical panorama. And I don't know, there's just a lot of stuff going on here. What's the name of this one? Oh, it's literally Guinness oh this World is Records. called Guinness World Records. So yeah, officially amazing apparently. And it looks really darn hard. I'm getting a lot of glare. Yeah. Wow, that's a ton of stuff going on, but that looks like fun. And then we have the other style. He's eyeing this one because it's Star Wars. Those we've seen at Barnes and Nobles back home. So those are very okay. familiar. Yeah, I saw that in the other Waterstones. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for Waterstones. They don't seem to have a humongous selection in general, but you know, nevertheless, these are the fancier puzzles and definitely gives me that Barnes and Nobles kind of vibe. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Oh goodness, someone help me, please. What am I gonna do? This is not good, this is absolutely terrible. A ton, oh my God, I don't even know where to start here and I'm on a time crunch. Uh, let me just start pulling, seeing what we got. So here we have Gisbins. This is Great Ormond Street Hospital. We're at- That's a child's hospital. We're at WH Stones? WH Smiths. Oh. Jesus Christ, Watch. way off. Swing left. I got the first part right. We are at WH Smith's and they're having a massive sale throughout the whole store. Um, and there's a ton of puzzles, which is absolutely terrible. So um, <laughs> this is not good. All right, let, let's focus. Great Ormond Street Hospital, 1000 piece Gibson. I'm trying to see if there's any other Gibsons. I don't even know where to start. I mean, let's go up here, I guess. What brand is this? Oh, so these are the WH Smith branded puzzles. I don't know, remember if I saw this in the other location we went to, which had like a very tiny selection, but this is one of their puzzles. This is 1000 pieces, vintage gingerbread town. That's fun. This is the Christmas fair. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. That's a nice image. Oh my God. Look at this there you go. Oh, look at that image. Wow, this is home for Christmas. Yeah, that's definitely my home. That's Look at that, $15.99 yeah, with 30% off? Yeah. Oh my god, this is nice. Look at that one. I love that. Yeah, awesome. These are all the same. Ones. Christmas store, we saw these already. Okay, those are all the same. This is another WH Smith jigsaw. Christmas, like an older one, though. Christmas evening song. I know Dominic Davison. I know that artist. This is 1,000 Pieces. Christmas Even Song. Even Song. Did I say evening? Yeah. Oh, geez. All right. Even Song. We got more of these WH Smith puzzles. These are at $15.99. That's fun. Look at that. This is called Sweet Shop Dash. That is a fun image. Gorgeous. What is this one? This one is called Family Day on the Village Green. I don't know, I may have seen this in the other one actually. Let me see if I can pick up ones that we haven't seen already. We haven't seen this one, I don't think. But then again, my memory's terrible. It says shopping at the department store. We saw that one. I'm pretty sure we saw this one before. Paddle Fun Pool. Paddle Pool Fun. Oh, Jesus. That's a nice image. We've got the village shop here. That's another nice image with the old English buildings. You can't beat the English architecture. Architecture. I can't say yet. Can't say them. I'm close. I guess the brand here is Big Potato Games. This is Night at the Movies. I love the colors on this one. That's fun. I can see myself there somewhere. But then again, I don't know. There's a lot of strangers actually. It's a big teddy bear mm -hmm. watching a movie. All right, we have some more Gibsons here. This is Puzzle Positivity. A lot of fun colors there. 1,000 pieces. And this one is called Wonderlust. 1,000 pieces. That's England, no? Edinburgh, no, Scotland. All over the place. Oh, wait, man. this is New York. We got, yeah. we got a bunch a of stuff going on. A travel one. We got a bunch of stuff going on there. Expensive. They are expensive. That's very that was twenty six nights. Twenty six sixty seven. That's super, that's super pricey. That's out of my range. Check this out. 
Car what is that? Karnovsky? Jungle jigsaw puzzle. Three pictures in one puzzle. It looks like you have to use your phone and you got some glasses here. I mean, this looks like a bit of a three bit, different puzzles basically. This is a bit like craziness, so I guess it depends what glasses you're wearing. Yes. This is a lot of this is a lot to um how do you say? Hmm. I lost my words. Process. This is a lot to process here, yes. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh, check out this Robinsberger 368 count set. This is for kids. But you know, anyone can do it. That's fine. The escape puzzle. This is called Museum Mysteries. That looks like food. We got some kitty puzzles here. Um, four in one in a box. We have this 1,000 piece Robinsberger Vintage Fairground Fun, 1,000 pieces. It looks very similar to a rose art that I have at home. But that's nice. This is, I wonder why it's gold. What makes it gold and why is it so expensive? What's special about this? Does anybody know why this is so expensive and why it's gold? I don't know. So these are more of the WH Smith puzzles, Life in the Country, 500 pieces. I like this one a lot. That's, that's fun. Nothing there. That's cool. We got flower burst, 500 pieces. That's really nice. Oh, oh stop! Look at that. This is gorgeous. This is called Country Escape. Oh my goodness, yes, please. Look at that image. This is definitely my house, but I don't know who all these random people are hanging around it. I wouldn't be having that. There's too many people around. Oh no, I didn't want to see this. New York maze. There, look. Now let's New put York it back. Haze. Haze. Oh my god. You know what it is? I haven't had my second coffee. I'm still struggling with it. I have to say, if, if you're from the UK, uh, is there a place where I can get like an actual drip coffee, like a pot? If that makes any sense to you you know like american coffee anyway so let's get back to this this is garden haven 500 pieces these 500 pieces are 10.99 oh i think i like this one even more this is enchanted garden that is gorgeous 500 pieces as well nice. and then this this is a big problem because these was jig was gidge puzzles the jumbo ones the boxes are very big. I've already bought one from another store that I didn't film because that was really all they had. But what am I gonna do? There's no way I'm gonna get these home. We'll figure it out. This is from the original collection. This is the Restore Store. This is one of those puzzle what you don't see images. Here's another original called Garden Party. That, that's, a, that's a lot going on here. This. Looks a bit crazy. This is one of the mystery collections. Blight at the museum. We got Best of British here by Gibson. That's 1,000 pieces. This looks like a puzzle from the brand Falcon. 1,000 piece, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Oh wow, look at this Robinsberger 1,000 piece. This is Festival of the Flower Children. This one is written in the stars, another Gibson 1000 piece puzzle. Yeah, I saw that. I was actually what? looking at that already. What? Oh my god, look guys. It's a Schmidt puzzle. It's a Disney Schmidt. <gasps> this is 13 pounds. Oh my god. This reminds me of my, what is it, my 1500 count puzzle? Yeah. But we got different scenes inside the circles and this is gorgeous. Oh no, this is terrible. Oh, what am I gonna do? It's Thomas Kincaid. Oh my God, get me out of the store. Thanks. This is terrible. Oh, I need to figure this out. All right, I really hope all of that turned out okay. I'm pretty sure future me had to, will have to add in some text here and there, you know, correcting myself and whatnot. But anyways, um, I got quite a bit back with me. And I'm gonna be honest, it, it wasn't easy. I'm glad we packed an extra piece of baggage or luggage on, you know, in one of our suitcases because I kind of had a feeling that, you know, originally I was telling myself, you know, I was probably gonna only get maybe two or three puzzles. But of course, unsurprisingly, that didn't happen. 
because I'm sure, I'm sure some of you can relate. You know, sometimes you go to a store without expecting to see much. And then, you know, it's a complete surprise when the whole place is full of them. And you can't help yourself. But anyways, let's move on to the haul. So, um, in no particular order here. Um, what I'm, let me see, what am I going to do here? Okay, we'll start with this one first. Because I believe this was the first puzzle that I picked up during the entire trip. And the one that I am talking about is one from the brand Corner Piece Puzzles. And this one's gorgeous. This is London Bridge at Night. And I believe I picked this one up at the store called The Works. Was it The Works? I don't know. Anyways, but this puzzle is 500 pieces and it is 48 by 34 centimeters when it's completed. And the artist is Robert finale is that right i don't even know if that's the artist it's just the name on the box i'm gonna assume that's the artist and oh yes i see it in the back now this was from the works which i believe um if i remember correctly again i'm sorry my brain is a bit fried right now i think it's one of the more like budget stores it's a bookstore but you know it's kind of more on the budgety side i don't know that store had a wonderful huge selection of different puzzle images i i from what i'm trying to you know regain some memory right now that place was fantastic and out of all the puzzles because you know i had to be careful i couldn't go crazy picking everything out of all of them this one i mean i mean look at it it's like a painting it's gorgeous the the artwork is like unbelievable it kind of gives me some Thomas Kincaid vibes with the way the artist, you know, played with the lighting in the, in, the, in the painting. Now, I know the title of this puzzle is London Bridge at Night, but I'm pretty sure this is actually Tower Bridge, not London Bridge. I, I think that's something else. And the reason why it's one of my favorite sites in London is because, you know, if I had to pick somewhere wild, wild and crazy to live, it would be it would be here. Can you imagine the view from one of these many windows? I can sit there every morning with a cup of coffee just taking in the views. And this was only six pounds, which, you know, to be honest, is really not that expensive when you convert it into U.S. dollars. This is probably within the price range of like a Seiko set or even a Buffalo set that you'd get at Walmart. Probably a little even cheaper than that. But you know what? Either way, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the quality is like with this brand. And who knows, maybe the next time I go to London or I'll, I'll pick up some more sets whilst I'm there. Now, the next puzzle that I have here is from, Dub from the store WH Smiths, which I believe, again, my, mem my memory is a bit fried right now. Please forgive me. I believe that's another kind of bookstore, budget kind of store place. So I figured, well, you know, I didn't figure. My husband gave me the idea, you know, maybe I should pick up the 500 from The Works and a 500 from WH Smiths and see what, you know, do a comparison video between the two. But, but anyways, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm starting to ramble. Let's get with the puzzle here. The one that I picked up from WH Smiths is called Life in the Country. Actually, now that I look at this, the, the name of the puzzle is Garden Haven. Life in the Country, I believe, is, is the name of the collection. But anyways, the artist is Andrea Bates. And again, this is 500 pieces. And it's 49 by 34.3 centimeters when it's completed. Now, this one was a little more expensive than the first puzzle. This was £10.99, which I believe if... Oh, I'm so bad with conversions... I think it's a little less than $15, US dollars. But aside from that, I mean, again, this store had a ton, a ton of puzzles. And I had to pick one, right? Because I only had one extra baggage with me. And this image, I mean, I couldn't say no to this, which is surprising as well to me because I'm not one to just go for puzzle images that are just full of flowers and, and plants and whatnot. I find them very, very challenging. But when I looked at this image, I, I saw myself sat on that chair. I can even see myself wearing a hat like that. I don't normally wear hats, and if I do, it's a baseball cap or something. But this can totally be my yard. And you know that I must have an expensive gardener taking care of my property because there's no way I can, you know, keep a garden looking this good. 
But yeah, I, f I feel like this is going to be quite a challenging image because of all those flowers. But, at, you know, again, I'm looking forward to seeing what the quality is like from this particular brand and seeing if it's better or wor worse than the one from Corner Piece Puzzles. Now, one place that I was glad to check out in England was a charity shop, which, well, you know, here we call thrift stores or secondhand stores. And we only got to one of them in the end. That was the only one that was in the town that I was staying at. But I was excited to see that they had quite a selection there. And all of the puzzles that I, from all the puzzles that I picked, the one that I decided to grab was one from Waddington's. I really hope I said that right. I know I've been asking my husband, is it Waddington's or Waddington's? And I still, for some reason, can't seem to remember. But anyways, this one is called Snow Hill Station. The artist is Terence Cuneo. I think I said that right. It is 72 by 49 centimeters or 28 by 19 inches when it's completed. And it's 1,000 pieces. But this puzzle was produced in 1987 by Waddington's Games Limited. So this puzzle is almost just as old as I am. But I mean, aside from that, this one cost me three pounds 50. So I think that's around five or six dollars, US dollars, which honestly to me is not that bad for something that you, I guess you can kind of consider vintage. I don't know. But aside from that, I mean, this is not really my kind of typical image that I would work on but I really loved it because it kind of reminded me of like obviously like King's Cross Station it gave me like Harry Potter nine and three quarter vibes even though I know it's not King's Cross but you know what I mean I'm pretty sure I'm back there somewhere waiting for my train to arrive who knows where I'm going it doesn't really matter I I'm up for adventures I'll go anywhere but anyways, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this company was all about back in the day because I know they have quite a bit of history and it's a company that my husband has known for a very long time. So I'm glad that I found this. And if any of you are familiar with that brand or, you know, have tried puzzles from, you know, that brand from back in the day, let me know what have your experiences been like. Now, the next two puzzles that I have here... I was super excited to to find them there because I have been trying to find them, you know, at stores here. I know I could find these online, but I don't know. Me, I, I'm the kind of person that likes to shop in person for the puzzles. I like to feel the boxes. I like, you know, I like to look at them and hold them and kind of like immerse myself in the image. So, you know, I was really glad that I found quite a big selection of these puzzles out there. And the puzzles that I'm talking about are the ones from Wasage or Wasgish. I don't know. But they're from the company Jumbo. And this one is called Mountain Mayhem. It's 1,000 pieces and it's 68 by 49 centimeters or 26.8 by 19.3 inches when it's completed. And Jumbo is from the Netherlands. Which reminds me, you know, the Lawrence King Netherland puzzle that I tried was amazing quality. So I'm hoping that's kind of the same. But anyway, this is from the Wasgish Mystery Puzzle Collection. And it says here on the side, don't puzzle what you see. Use your imagination and puzzle what will happen next. This was £9.80 and I, it was on sale, which was fantastic as well. So I'm thinking this probably costed, cost me about $15 around that price range, which, you know, to me is not a bad deal because, again, I can't find these at home. And I just thought this image was so much fun, even though that's not what I'm actually going to puzzle. But, you know, it gives me a pretty good idea what kind of artwork I'm dealing with here, obviously. And speaking of the artwork, the artist is James Galt. But, I mean, this looks like it's going to be too much fun. And I think it's also going, also going to be quite challenging as well because, you know, I'm not going to have an actual print of what the image is. At least I don't think I am. It tells me I got to use my imagination. So I, I, I don't know how am I going to go about sorting this. I don't know what I'm going to be puzzling here, which, you know, it makes for a very, very interesting puzzling experience. 
And not only did I pick this one up, but I, I had to pick up another one because, you know, they were there, obviously. And this one I paid a little bit more for it because I picked this up, I believe, at a different store or different location. But this one is called Car Boot Capers. And this is from the original puzzle collection, where you don't puzzle what you see, but you have to use your imagination and puzzle what the dad sees in this image. It's 1,000 pieces, and it's 68 by 49 centimeters or 26.8 by 19.3 centimeters when it's completed. And again, another image by James Skull. And it's, it's craziness going on here. There's so much happening. And, you know, who knows what the actual image that you're puzzling is going to look like. I, I haven't the slightest clue. But, I mean, either way, I think both of these puzzles are they're going to be so much fun. It might make me pull my hair out because I don't know what the heck I'm puzzling. But, you know, either way, it's, it's, it's going to be great. But if any of you guys have tried these puzzles before, let me know which of the images you've tried. And did you like them? Did, you, did they drive you crazy? Or are they a brand that you just can't happen to find at any of your local stores as well? If, if any of you guys have found these at a store and i'm talking about in the u.s please let me know what store you got these from because i'd love to pick up more of these and those boxes were like some of the biggest ones that i had to fit in my suitcase that those were really difficult as well as the waddingtons but i mean i'm just really glad that i got these all back in the end now the next three puzzles that I picked up were from the shop that I couldn't actually, you know, fully film in there. I just kind of showed you the views. It was not on my list of places to check out. It was just a place that my husband spotted from across the street. And we were like, we just had to go in because the outside display was already making me want to faint. But anyways, of the puzzles that, of all the puzzles that they had in there, I mean, the biggest brand that they had available was the Gibsons, which was like the number one puzzle brand that I was aiming to pick up in England. So in total, I picked up three puzzles from there. The first one that I'm going to show you is, uh, it's called, this is beautiful. This is Lighthouse Island. And this is 500 pieces. Again, the brand is Gibsons. The artist is Dominic Davison. And it's 48 by 34 centimeters when it's completed. I mean, are you really surprised why I picked this particular image up out of, out of the bunch? I mean, you know what this is? This is my house. That's my lighthouse as well. This is my property. I can see myself getting ready for the day and brewing that nice cup of coffee so that I could sit out on my front porch and, and take in this beautiful sunrise. This image is absolutely beautiful. I, I love the colors. It just... It's so mesmerizing, and I really cannot wait to see what this brand is all about. And aside from the 500 piece, you know I had to pick up a 1000 piece so that I can compare the two experiences. And the one that I decided to pick up is called B Hall. The artist is Richard McNeil, and it's 68 by 49 centimeters when it's completed. And again, another beautiful image. You've got my house in the back there. You have my new beehive, which is a new hobby that I, I guess I decided to take on, you know, because why not, right? This is absolutely beautiful. And, you know, it looks like it's going to be challenging, but, you know, it's going to make for a beautiful finished image. I, I absolutely love these two, these two puzzles. I'm so glad that I was able to find Gibsons while I was there. Um, and, and not just a few. I, I found a ton of them. As I said, guys, I could have come back home with a, a crazy ton of puzzles, but, you know, it was hard enough trying to figure out, you know, how I was going to pack these. But anyways, aside from that, another puzzle that I picked up from that store was one that my husband insisted that I pick up because he knew that I loved it so much. And I have seen these in the U.S., but this particular one I've struggled to find in person. And the one I'm talking about is a puzzle from Ravensburger. And this is from their Disney Castle collection. It's called Ariel. It's 1,000 pieces, and it's 70 by 50 centimeters, or 27 by 20 inches when it's completed. And as I said, 
I have been able to spot some of these. These are kind of hard to find around where I live at, at the stores that are around me. And I have not been able to see this one. So when I saw it, of course, my mouth dropped. And it was £16.99, which I believe is pretty close to the same price range in, in the U.S. But, I mean, look at this image, guys. It's, it's Disney, of course. You know how I feel about that. I love The Little Mermaid. That was one of my fav most favorite Disney classic movies when I was a child. And I love how you can see the inside of the castle. This image is breathtaking. I don't know what it is about Ravensburger. You can't deny that Ravensburger have some of the best Disney images out there. And I would absolutely do, I, I wish when I was at that store, I wish I could have picked up every single one of these in the collection. They had all of them. But, you know, of course, it, there was no way that was going to happen, right? Not, not with me trying to figure out how I was going to fit what I had already bought. But, you know what? I mean, who knows? Maybe I could find these, you know, around town at some point. I don't know. But anyways, guys, in the end, I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I picked up eight puzzles from England, which, you know ended up being way more than I expected to pick up for myself. To be fair, we did pick up another puzzle for my daughter. She picked one that had a leopard on it. But that she has that hidden in her room. That's in her own little personal collection that she barely pulls out every now and then. But yeah, I mean, that, that was really hard trying to figure out how to get back home. And everything was very, very tightly packed in the cases. But in the end, we got it all back. And nothing ended up being damaged, thankfully. So yeah, again, I'm really looking forward to trying out these puzzles, especially the Gibsons and the, the Waz Jig, Waz, Waz Jig, right? I guess, I don't know. Um, I'm really interested in trying those. Also the corner piece and the Smith puzzles. But again, guys, I don't know if I've said this already, but if any of you have tried any of these brands before, please let me know down below how how were they and did you enjoy them did you hate them do you think i'm gonna hate them and also let me know down below which ones are you most excited in seeing me work on sooner rather than later now that i am back home i have been trying to really get myself back into the groove of filming and editing and and whatnot you know aside from the whole getting back to work and doing chores and all that kind of stuff again and I know my I'm physically here, you know, in front of the camera, but, but this up here is not here yet. So I'm hoping that changes very soon because I really need to get busy. As of this moment of filming, I don't have anything else lined up in terms of footage. But I am currently puzzling again, and it feels so good to be puzzling again. I'm working on the, as I mentioned in my community post, I'm working on the Ravensburger and the Schmidt video so hopefully that comes out by ne the following week i don't know yet probably not but i'm gonna keep my fingers crossed because i really i really need to get back into the groove of things so i kind of gotta i gotta push myself a little bit here but anyways guys enough rambling aside from that i am so glad to be back home and i'm so happy to be puzzling again and putting more videos out for you guys so aside from that guys i hope all of you have been doing well i hope you've all been enjoying your summer so far i hope to get the next video out soon and if not i'll keep you posted but other than that thank you all so much for watching take care and i will see you in the next one